Hello, this is Satom from Slexin. In this video, I'm gonna show you about testing the Matomost app with Perfecto. This part is about Android phone testing. To test the mobile application, you will use the manual method. Let's go to the necessary section of the site. For testing, you will use the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Let's start the session. By default, the Matomos application is not installed on the phone. To install, you need to download the APK file to the system. To download it, click on the application button and go to the install new section. Here we will choose to download the file from the PC and then we need to specify the path to the Matomos APK file. After installing the application, we will be able to launch it. Enter the server to which you want to connect. I pasted the link using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus V. In this case, the clipboard that is one of the local computer is shared with the virtual phone. We can remove extra symbols from text. Let's select all text. To do this, hold down the left mouse button. Next, we should scroll the text to the beginning, select the first pointer and move it. Ok, now you can delete. Next, you need to log in. Let's enter an email. You can enter characters from the keyboard. If you try to enter a password, then we will see the characters that we enter for a while. To hide information, use the secure text button. So, we are connected to the server. Let's use scroll. To do this, by holding the left mouse button, determine the path of the swipe across the screen. You can also use the mouse wheel. Scrolling up is similar to swiping up. Ok, let's change the team. Open the Biga menu and click on the team button. Now let's call the slash command. We can test how the application responds to dialog boxes. Click this button, which opens the dialog. Let's fill out the form. Let's finish our work with the dialog and click on Submit. We can work with the phone's file system. Let's send an image to the chat. To do this, press a special button. Finally, we can test how the search works. Click on the magnifying glass icon. Let's search by date. In the calendar, you can switch months using the buttons. Also, you can use swipe. Thus, we see that the swipe works in any place where it is provided. Now let's choose the day. Just like on a PC, we can press the enter key, which means the end of the input in the text box. Ok, now let's take a screenshot. Let's also see the Vitals function. With the help of Vitals, we can watch the performance of the device during operation. Let's open this function and select the parameters. In the settings, set the data refresh rate to 3 seconds. Now we can start. We see several charts. In the process of working on the device, the charts will change. Let's start the Matamos again. We see how the free space has decreased. This can be seen in the second chart. Matamos uses about 200 MB of memory. We also see slight changes in the third chart. With a total use memory of 7 GB, the amount of application memory load is very small. During the operation of the Matamos, we don't see significant changes in memory. So, we can consider the load to be relatively constant. Let's stop vitals. We can download results from CSV file. Now, we can save our test. We can mark it as a paste, so that we can look at statistics on it if necessary. Let's enter the name of our test. 
At the bottom you see a checkbox. If you activate it, all device data will be erased, including all applications that you have installed. Let's finish the test. Ok, we have looked at the possibilities of Perfecta when testing mobile applications. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a good day.